I didn't even realize how much of my identity was wrapped up into my previous employer in such a very unhealthy way that I had did to myself. And it's like the way they said your performance was defined like who you were as a person, as quality, right? And trying to climb that ladder um, because there was an up or out model there. So you had to get promoted every couple of years in order to keep your job. And so doing that was just like everything that you knew to work for in that type of career. And so when I was trying to determine whether or not I wanted to leave, I knew that I wanted to be uh have a career. And I felt that, that you should be able to have a career and take your kid to school. Mm -hmm. This is before the pandemic. I was traveling Monday through Thursday and I couldn't see a path of a particularly also being a mother of a black son where you can outsource being present and engaged and available even in preschool. And so I went to therapy of like, what does it look like for me to actually leave this job and put in my notice? That's how you know it was like a really big part of my identity in life because I'm like, I, who am I saying I am if I change this career that I love for a baby, right? Like that was like, so I'm like, I, I had to be honest, I actually judged women at work who did that thinking they're just not committed. I was, they're just there, not there's dedicated. A lot, there's a lot of judgment from. I didn't realize I oh, was I, judging oh, I, oh, I until yeah. I became mm -hmm. the person mm -hmm. that felt judged. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is what judgment feels like. And it's also been those women who come back and say, you know what? I'm so, apo I apologize. That was me. I apologize. I did. I had yep. to apologize to a lot of my friends because um, I didn't realize I was judging them, but I was judging them. Mm -hmm. But what I learned in therapy was that. Every decision can be modified. Yes. And so I leave today and it doesn't work out. You have good reputation. You can go back. But you don't have to make everything so daunting. And that moment really has also liberated me in ways, even as we've talked about, you know, choosing a school for your child and all of that. Hey, you pick a kindergarten, it doesn't work. Move first to grade. Move second. You can move every year. I mean, it's it's not life changing. You pick a college, you can transfer. Mm -hmm. You know, you move to a neighborhood, you don't like it. You can sell your house. They may not be easy. There may be some financial implications to it. You know, there's a, there's a journey. Maybe you move jobs too much, you might have to take a step back, but you can do it. Yeah. And take the weight and the burden off feeling like everything is permanent. So I if agree. for your family, even for me, if for my family, if my kids need me to leave work, change jobs, I did that already, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I would do it again. Mm -hmm. 